Okay, we have one table, table one, all right, which is supposed to be student. Okay, we're supposed to be student. And let's have a look at the structure first. Primary key, ID, auto number. All right, then you have a student name, short text, and this is new. All right, at 10, I'm using yes, no. Okay, I'm using yes, no. I also have key in two value. So Lim attended, Jet did not attend. All right. So Lim attended, Jet did not attend. All right. Now the data is inside the table. It's time to create our form, but I'm using the form wizard, which is the easiest. All right. So only one table. I will select everything. All right. Then I will click next. I will just leave it as columnar. All right. I can give it a name. Okay. So maybe a table one FRM. And I want to modify the form. But right. I want to modify the form. So finish. Okay. All right. First, I'm going to give myself a little bit more space to work with. All right. I do not like this checkbox don't like the checkbox okay i want something else okay so i'm gonna use the option instead so i'm gonna use the option instead and of course all right uh the control source for the option will be the attend field so i set this to the attend field itself all right so this one is the uh, attend field all right and of course the i can call it anything i want all right so that is just naming okay all right that is just naming so just make it a little bit bigger all right okay and i will need two option button all right so one One is for the yes, and one is for the no. All right? One is for the yes, and one is for the uh, no. Okay? So, I need value for them. Okay? For the no, right, the value option will be zero. For the yes, the value option will be a negative one. So this one is negative one, this one is zero. All right. Okay, of course you can align it nicely, but okay. Right. right now I just want to view this form. Okay, see? At 10, there's a check mark here. I haven't removed this check mark here. It is a yes. I go to the next which is the second record, no attendance, this one is a no. Right. So the confusion is usually at the value. Right. Once you can understand this, right, then the common error will be solved.